So just on the high before leaving Hong Kong now. We're heading for Shenzhen. He knows. Yeah. He knows the drill. Now you got a plane. Yeah. yeah. For, particularly for the cormorant fishermen yes. along here. Because they're so used to people taking photos of them. Lots of thousands a day. Who's got it? Yeah. 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 So now, why is this river famous in Chinese history? Because of the mountains, because of the, the water and the mountains together. The river. Just cruising down the, the Lai River, Young Shore.
I'm just doing a bit of cycling. Here's my bike. Ni hao. Ni hao. It's just spectacular here. <laughs> it was the view outside of my hotel in Yangshou. Beautiful misty morning. Welcome everybody to southern China. We're in Guangxi province. Uh, so we're in a town called, uh, a village called uh, Chaolong, and, uh, which is about six kilometers outside of Yangshuo. <laughs> Stop laughing. Um, we're at a cooking school. I'm not sure what the name of the cooking school is. The cooking school. The Chaolong cooking school. Um, so it's really hard to get, a, to get a, a, an indication of the, of the view we've got. So I think maybe we should do a quick walk outside, or we could just pan over the pomelo trees and see the see the limestone cut. No, you can't. Come on, see. You we do see? a little walk, yeah. Let's do a little walk. This uh, look at the entrance of the house. We've got up here. We've got uh, Ping An. These are the two characters meaning peace. peace. This 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 house has excellent feng shui, excellent energies. Um, that's essentially what this and this say. The reason why there's excellent feng shui is you've got a mountain at the back, which you might not be able to see, but you've got a mountain behind the home, and you've got a river at the front. That is as good as it gets. Water, at, flowing water at the front, and a mountain at the back. So this house is really, really because feng shui. what the water takes away the the the, 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 the water takes away the uh, the negative feng shui, right. and the mountain protects you. That's the they, the, the mountain is considered, um, um, is considered, they talk about uh, mountains being dragons, the, the spine of the dragon. So the, the mountain protects the house and the water at the front carries away the bad feng shui. Okay. And I lands, can I just point out, I landscaped so much of this veggie patch. <laughs> I just want to point out that I did that. <laughs> I put out half, half the pomelo trees. <laughs> oh, did you? No, not quite. <laughs> the boys did that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you guys want to put your bags and coats in the other room, that we can train on the floor. Oh, oh really? Oh, <laughs> really? It happens in China. Are you getting on, Amory? Yeah? Okay, that's me done cooked. So, mine's been on for about three minutes. Yeah, do you have one? If you don't know, Nice. Nice. Come on. 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 At the the Grand Buddha.
71 metres from the bottom to the top is the, the biggest putter in the world. loads of tequila all right it's scary <laughs> this is Tracy one of the girls on my tour <laughs> Same age because they always born almost the same time, and, uh, and the first now they already almost fully uh, grown. It's a uh, how old is this one? Three and a half. Three and, a half. Three. Oh, three and then and if they are less than four and a half, still considered to be teenagers, they can stay together. Oh, I see. If they become adult, they have to be so separate. These aren't necessary so now else. their weight is uh, enough, but the the, 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 maybe both the ogre has a uh, still young. <laughs> mm. And uh, this garden used to be the garden. Artificial insemination or, you know, arranged breeding. Oh, it's flesh okay? Yeah. 
uh, for the adults, no children. Later we see the babies in, in, in no flesh. And the, the, the hand is here, they get used to the people. If we see the babies, uh, because they are too, they are, uh, too big to, to get in for the keepers. But for the babies, people can get in when the people clean the garden or do something. And the panda's eyesight is not very good, but their hearing and the smelling ability is very good. So they can feel the other animals from far away and escape. If sometimes it's too late for them to escape, they climb up the tree. They, they're very good just for that. We're just starting our uh, three day cruise down the three gorges um, in starting in Chongqing. This is Chongqing in the background. Apparently there's about... <laughs> Chongqing is the biggest population in the world, about 30 million people. Oh, 30 million, I'm videoing over and talking to you. 
We didn't spend much time in Chongqing, but what little time we spent was fantastic. Lots of pretty lights. Lots of pretty lights. And a McDonald's. City of the Dead. Oh, we're in the City of the Dead. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> but I'm going to have to fix this up in post-production. This is the Stairway of the Immortals. Looking down there on our boat. Seventy thousand. One's in the room, is it? And the new one is the eight square kilometers with a population of one hundred thousand. That's the new town, and obviously it's not there. So we're looking at the new town of Hindu over there. Be wherever everyone goes from this ghost town there when they flood the three gorges. <laughs> Are they going to knock all the buildings down for the boats to yeah, cut right down? Yeah. Oh right, I see. Not like on back further down where you've got those concrete, concrete uh, like them, but bigger. The, the dam will be a four kilometers long. Right, 40 meters wide and 50 meters long. So that's the foundations for it, probably. Okay. And the night. And the night. And the night. And the The name of this gorge is? It's a Kui Tang, Chui Tang Gorge, also okay. known as Kui Gate, Kui okay. Gorge. And this is the first gorge here? Mm -hmm. You know, Kui is a uh, dragon, means dragon. Okay. And uh, the local people, the local place also known as Kui Zhou, Kui Zhou. So here, uh, there have two mountains which look like the, which look like the door. Okay. So it's a Kui door, uh, Kui door. Kui door, thank yeah. you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> this is the first gorge. Yeah. Very famous point since Tang Dynasty. Uh, he come here wrote many points about the three gorges, about love, bamboo point. It's very famous in China. 
the, the lot of people built the statue of uh, Liu Yuxi here in 2000, uh, sorry, in 1994. You know, he called his name Xiao, White King, and built this town, White King Town. After his death, the local people built the temple in a, uh, in a, in a mountain and uh, uh, put a statue in the temple. But, uh, but uh, in Ming Dynasty, the government destroyed a Gongsun statue. They think Gongsun was lost a royal descendant. So they changed the three kingdoms part in it. The White Emperor Temple, no one king in it. And the building only 400 years old. where we are now. We're just about to enter into the second gorge here. I think it's called Wu Gorge, is it? Yeah, Wu Gorge. Wu Gorge. This is the longest gorge. Anne Marie. I want the river back the gorge, and in the morning, the tourists leave. Get up from the building. Along the riverside, and, um, 
arose another <coughs> another another <coughs> come to another place. what I'm saying, can you? <laughs> Soya. What is it, Bernadette? That's our guide. What's your name? What is it? Soya. What's your name? My name is Yu Jian Shan. Thank you. Welcome to our boat. There's no foundation there. Yeah. And potentially that whole thing could come down if not one of the um, yeah. Families have probably constructed that over like Jackets on the 
In the summer, did I get this? You're going to come back in the summer, eh? Yeah. <laughs> We've just entered the Three Gorges Dam. It's huge. This is the first lock here, the first of four. And the dam's 117 metres from the top to the bottom. Well, this is a very misty morning of day three. We're at the end of the last gorge here, about 8 o'clock in the morning. That's just spectacular. This is a model of the Three Gorges uh, Dam. For your information, pictures, paintings on the uh, wall, and also uh, some postcards, books up there. Um, and then, if you have any questions, you can tell me. So now we're uh, over there. After we see the model here, we will drive this way across uh, the locks, this way to the top uh, here, where we see the sea. Then we we'll drive back to the dam to see the ship lift. The ship lift. That's the locks we went through there. So that's the dam site over there. So that's the ship lock. So that's facing down towards Shanghai, going south. Gives you a little bit of the idea of the scale. How big those lots are. Uh, we go to the copper dam out there, but we because the turbines, uh, the power house not finished yet, so uh, we do not go there now. How long is the dam from? Uh, Two thousand three hundred nine meters long. Right, so it's from that concrete. Yeah, thing to the, end. to the end. 2309. So that's the site behind the dam. Jerry, what's up, what height did you say the water is here? Is what, how high is the water on this side? No. Yeah. Uh, 139. 139, but it'll go to 175 yes, when it's finished. Yes, 150. Okay, and on the other side, the drop from uh, from here to the bottom. Uh, the other side is um, now is about a sixty-five or six. Right. Uh, we'll find only will be sixty-two. Thank you. See where the, the lorry is? And there's a little blue shed. There. Just to put it in content. So this is the view from the south side of the Yangtze. This is another 
section of the dam they're building now. It's all those green things carrying the concrete now. Oh, so we now in the pit number one. The terracotta warriors. That's why we cannot see the original color. That's why we cannot see the original color. You know, but in pit number two, some of the pit are different color. Some of them are still as bright as me. You see the floor also paved with brick. Yes. Yeah. No, it's estimate. It's estimate. There were more than six thousand terrible horses would be discovered from pin number one, and most of them are infantry men. What? You see, excavation is still ongoing at the back. Only this kind of project we just discovered some fragments of the project that is that complete one. So it's estimate to complete to renovate each of them at least a three years. At least a three years. Yeah, we to pull them together. Yeah. There should be like a little line through it, a circle and a line through it. Keep going. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. 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 This is the big goose pagoda in Chiang. I'm in a little noodle place in Chiang. That's Bernadette. Tracy. Naomi. Uh,吃那个油泼的。油泼是陕西的有名的小吃。没没没没有西红柿。啊，就是没有西红柿，就是没有油油油两个人不吃，吃吃吃。但是西红柿好吃，好吃肉的。肉可以放辣的。啊，
Hello. Hello. This is a night market in the Muslim quarter in Xi'an. And we're just about to have some kebabs. Well, I'm now in Shanghai. It's the 24th of March 2004. That's the Pearl Tower. It's like a giant hypodermic needle. I must say I'm very impressed with Shanghai. I love big cities, so this is the biggest in China. We're just about to go on a, a river cruise. We're wearing the Sujo. <coughs> this is the humble administrator's garden. Very big Japanese style gardens, except for all the Chinese tourists around. Can't really get the, uh, the tranquil feel. And there's people shouting at you. It's uh, because of the two sick worm make the, make the one sick worm. It's so mixed up and they cannot take the spread out. So what, the silk is inside the cocoon? Yeah. Silk's in there, isn't it? Yeah, inside. The puma, now it is. Right. Puma. Yeah. Oh, right. Puma. Yeah. And then, right. Yeah. The puma now is. Okay, 
big silk amazing factory in Suzhou. The woman plucks one of the um, cocoons and places it on one of the spinning threads. You can't see it but there's a little thread of silk which leads up to the spinning rod from here. Take the silk thread from the silk cocoon, and they just uh, you won't take it, and they they will make the boil it again, and then they dry it, and after that they just directly make the silk quilt. <laughs> well, I'm in Tiananmen Square now. As Padastri gathering squares, such as International Labor Day on May 1st or Chinese National Day on October 1st, we have all the celebrations held in TMA Square. So many events made this square famous, home and abroad. For you heard it's back 1989, students are rising. In China, this kind of issue totally closed the news. As you know, different media they had different stories about this. So nobody know what exactly happened here. When I came to Beijing to study, one of our professors told us sounds like at least 600 students work here in TMA Square. Whatever, nowadays TMA Square is peaceful again. It's a good place for people strolling around or flying kites at this. But nowadays, most remains put in one with crystal coffee covered by Communist Party's flag. That is the only attraction place for free for people. Hello. Okay, let's see, in front of us, did you see that red flag? is Chinese national flag. Hello. After that get the five yellow stars. Five yellow star, not means five star hotel. Biggest one is represents Communist Party of China. Four small stars means four main classes in China. From the outside the Forbidden City. of the dragon chair, kept by nine dragons. Dragon chair is where the emperor sit down to receive high rank officials. For that hall, used to be the highest buildings in whole Forbidden City, as well as in whole Beijing. And around this terrace, from this point, you can see so many incense burners. And we just walked out of the Forbidden City. This is the moat around it. That's the watchtower there in the distance. 